Let's play Idol Army Base in a new part of it. So we are going to build a chemical warfare in uh, three next training areas. Here we go. So it's cost 2.29 million. It's training for survival in chemical warfare situations. Let's go. Okay. Well, let's take a look at it before that. The newbies are going in, the cadets. Let's upgrade it a bit first. Okay, we have a lot of money, of coins. So let's spend it. In capacity as well. And the queue size. Zoom under training. Okay, let's increase the training value. I have increased those training values in all other training areas, you know, to have it. Uh okay, so here for instance, I have increased the training value to 10.2k per cadet. So each uh, person going in and out will generate the revenues of uh, 10,000 coins. Alright. See so at the gates. I have uh, upgraded them to speed up the entrance process. The bus stop I have upgraded as well to have a better frequency every 12.5 seconds and higher bus seats so it's bringing more cadets each uh, time okay well let's open the tanks training area it's for the operation and maintenance of tanks. Here we go. Wow. Okay. Let's take a zoom. Add it. Well, we are going to see it in operation. Look at that. It's going to shoot, I think. Now, stunning. What is it shooting at? It is missing all targets. Which are the cars? Okay, let's go back. So, where's the exit? Okay, that's upgrade as well. To reduce the time that the uh, cadet has to wait before taking the new seat. S yeah, so let's increase those as well. Okay. Training speed. Training value, here we go. Yeah, so when you increase the, those training values, you 
it will increase greatly the uh, offline income. You know? So when you don't play and you come back to the game, you watch an ad, you will triple the revenue and it will give you, give you a lot of points. So now each time the five cadets go into the tank. Okay, it's going to shoot. There we go. Shooting anywhere. Well, they are not professional soldiers, so that's normal. We cannot blame them for the lack of accuracy, right? Okay. What can we open now? The Arctic Warfare and we have to wait a bit because it's going to cost us 12.9 million special training for operations affected by snow and ice. Wow, sounds great. Okay. Well I will resume the recording as soon as I have enough coins to open the tanks training area then. Alright, so we have enough coins now to open the tanks. That no, the attic warfare. Sorry, I forgot. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, interesting. What is it going to do? Oh, okay. Sh starts with the shooting. Okay. So, the cadet is going to practice shooting on snow first, and then it is going to move to another training zone, I think, in this Arctic warfare. Why is it shooting all the time? Hold on. There's no other exercise. This is weird. It's all about shooting this target. Well. Okay, by the way, how do you find the music? I don't think it's very adapted to uh, military ambience. as well alright and for the queue size wow okay yeah they can shoot in the other side as well but I have I can't upgrade right now to have more cadets practicing training at the same time okay what can we buy after the war? Arctic warfare Let's just have a look it's the desert warfare it's going to cost 27.8 million well um, that means I have to wait a bit for any game having enough uh, revenue and then I come back with some offline income I will need to do that twice or three times and we we'll have enough coins to open this desert warfare. Hello. How much is this? 255k only? Forget it. Forget it. The helicopter goes away. Well, let's just take a look at those. And we why the urban warfare and exercise yard but anti warfare we know the tanks training we have seen beforehand obstacle course we have seen that uh, training area in the previous parts 
heavy artillery. You have seen that in the previous part as well. An HMG heavy machine gun. The chemical warfare we have just seen that. The jungle warfare. Seen that in the previous part as well. Well, um, we will wait now to open the desert warfare. I will resume recording just after. Okay, so I have grinded a lot of coins now, thanks to the offline income of the game. So I'm going to open the desert warfare now. It's going to cost almost 28 million. Specialist training for desert combat operations. Here we go. Okay, wow. We're going to see some cadets going in. Here we go. Yeah, I can't wait to see. Hold on. Yeah, let's just increase the capacity right now. Wow. Okay, it's going to cost a lot to upgrade the training value. Oh my gosh, it's costing me a lot. Never mind, it's going to generate a lot of in offline income as well. So that's kind of an investment. Okay, look at that, dessert warfare. Okay, it's going in the chip. Going on the sand dunes, it's going through obstacles. Where's it going? It's a Humvee. Yeah, well, hold on. let's follow this track. Wow, it's going on a kind of wooden bridge. Okay. And that's said they have finished the track. Okay, it's going down and then they go out of the Humvee. Yes, and we earn coins, that's it. And the other are going in the middle wide. Okay. So that's cool. That means that uh, in this gameplay we have added the desert warfare, the Arctic warfare, the tanks, and the chemical warfare for training areas. In the last part, we are going to open the explosive training as well as two other training areas that I don't know names right now. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me added four new training areas in Idol Army Base. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Idol Army Base. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye bye.